In this video, I'll build a traffic light simulator in React. First, let's see the demo of the project. As you can see, we have this traffic light UI with three circles, and the lights switch from green to yellow to red after predetermined intervals and loop indefinitely. If you notice, the yellow light stays on for a lesser period of time as compared to the rest. Each light should be lit for the following durations. Red light for 4 seconds, yellow light for half a second, and green light for 3 seconds. So with that clear, let's proceed to build the project. The file structure is pretty straightforward. app.js, index.js, and styles.css file. I'll first start by creating the UI, and then proceed to add all the functionality. So in the app.js, I'll first import styles.css. Then I'll give the parent div a class name of wrapper. And then I'll create a component named traffic light, import it in app.js, and place it within the wrapper div. This traffic light component will contain all the UI and main logic. In the traffic light component, I'll begin by creating a traffic light container div. And within that div, we require three lights. So I'll map through this dummy array for now and return a div with the class name of traffic light. These will be the individual lights. And note that I'll remove this dummy array 1 to 3 later on when I move to the logic writing part and replace it with something else, which you will see soon. Now I'll quickly add some simple styling to these class names in order to show some visuals on the screen. In the styles.css, I'll first add styles for the wrapper present in app.js, which will simply center the entire traffic light on the screen. After that, I'll style the traffic light container, which will have a background color of black, border radius 7px, display of flex, and flex direction of column, since all traffic lights are arranged in a column-like fashion then a padding of 10px and gap of 10px as well. So the individual traffic lights will all end up having a 10px gap between them. To show that, I'll now style the individual traffic light. First, I'll declare a CSS variable here named size with a value of 50px. Then I'll add a dark grayish background color, and then I'll add a border radius, height, and width with their values equal to the size variable, 50px in this case. And now you can clearly see the UI visible on the screen. Now in the traffic light component, if I add a style property to the traffic light div and give it a background color of red, then you can see all the individual traffic lights change their color. However, we need to add the color switching functionality by making things dynamic, and only one circle should have their lights colored at any given moment. So let's add the logic for that. I'll remove this background color of red for now. First, in the app.js file, I'll create an object named traffic states. And this object will contain three more objects named red, yellow, and green. Each of these objects will hold information regarding its background color, duration of that particular light, and the next color we are supposed to show. So the duration of each of these colors is going to be 4000 milliseconds, which is 4 seconds, 500 milliseconds, and 3000 milliseconds. The background color is obviously going to be red, yellow, and green respectively. And the next property is going to be green, red, and yellow respectively. That's because when the color is red, the next color we are supposed to show is green, and when the color is green, the next color we are supposed to show is yellow, and when the color is yellow, the next color we are supposed to show is red. Now after that, I'll pass the traffic states object as a prop to the traffic light component. Now in the traffic light component, I'll destructure the traffic states object. Then I'll create a state named current color and initialize it with green. This will allow the green traffic light to be shown by default. And then over here, I'll replace the array 1, 2, 3 with object.keys of traffic states instead. Now this will simply return an array containing all the keys within traffic states, which in this case is going to be red, yellow, and green. So now the map will be performing its operations on this new array. And because of that, in the map methods callback, I can use the color parameter which will be red, yellow, and green respectively. Then in the style property of the traffic light div, I'll target the background color and make it dynamic by saying if the color is equal to the current color state, then I'll simply display the respective background color from the traffic state. So now as you can see, the traffic light green becomes active because the current color is set to green by default. So now all we have to do is switch the colors dynamically after the respective durations of each color. So we need to change the current color state based on certain intervals depending on which color is set. To do that, I'll simply create a use effect which will have a current color as its dependency. So this use effect will be invoked every time the current color is changed. Then I'll destructure the duration and next property from the current colors object present within the traffic states object. After that, I'll change the current color to the next color based on its duration. I'll do this by creating a timer ID variable and setting it to a set timeout, where the time for it will be the duration of the respective color. And within the set timeout callback, I'll set the current color to the respective next color after the given duration of the current color has been completed. This will allow the current color to switch to the next color after a given duration. And then I'll simply clear the timeout every time the component unmounts by using clear timeout and the timer ID variable we declared above. 
So now with this done, you can see the color has started to switch based on its given duration. It works exactly as shown in the demo at the beginning of this video and it seems to work just fine, pretty much like a real traffic light. So that's all for the video, if you found it insightful, don't forget to like and subscribe and as usual, stay tuned for more.